On today's installation video, we'll be reviewing how to install a race ship on a BMW 535i equipped with the N55 engine. Before installing the race ship, please wait until your engine is cool enough to work on. Put your parking brake or emergency brake on. If your vehicle is equipped with an alarm system, please disable it. Pop the hood, roll up the windows, close the doors, and press the lock button on your key fob and move that key fob 30 feet away. You're gonna wait about 10 minutes after for all the electricity to clear from underneath the hood. First, remove the plastic engine cover. To do so, we're gonna grab from either corner and gently lift straight up. Now there's gonna be two different fingers right here going into the air intake. Simply pull away gently to remove. We're going to first begin with the A connection on the race chip wiring harness. To connect the A connection on the race chip, we're going to be locating the turbo boost pressure sensor. So it'll be on the driver's side of the engine, halfway down, right before the throttle body. To move the A sensor, you're going to grab a flathead screwdriver. It's going to be a little plastic snap. Simply wedge the screwdriver on the back. Bend up gently, you don't want to break the snap, and pull back. So the sensor's removed. The next thing you'll do is take the race chip wiring harness and take the female side of the wiring harness to the connector plug you just removed and insert until it clicks. And then go ahead and give it a little tug, make sure it's in there. There will be one locking tab, make sure it makes it underneath and is locked. We're going to take the race chip male side of the connection. Same thing, one side has the locking tab, the other side will be smooth. Take that locking tab side and insert it into the sensor. Make sure it snaps. Now that we've hooked into the A connection on the turbo boost pressure sensor, we're now going to be to the B connection, which is the intake manifold pressure sensor. The air cleaner is held on by three grommets, one in the front and two in the back. So to remove the air cleaner, we're simply going to pull up and then remove the snorkel on either side. And this will pull out and you're good to go. And here is the B sensor on the intake manifold. It's the intake manifold pressure sensor. Next up is the B connection. So just like the A connection, we're gonna use a small flathead screwdriver just probably barely underneath. Again, don't want to break anything. Just enough to get the locking tab out and gently pull back. Don't pull on the cables when you're doing this. Gently pull on the plug itself. There we go. With the male end removed, we're gonna take the female end of the wiring harness. Again, same thing, locking tab. We'll need to go underneath the locking tab until it clicks. And then you'll take the male end of the race chip harness, same thing with the locking tab until it clicks. With the wiring harness installed, before we insert the race chip, we're first going to figure out where we're going to put the device and figure exactly where we're going to route the wiring harness. Make sure when you're routing the wiring harness to avoid any hot or moving parts. Using the supplied zip ties, use the smaller of the two to secure the wiring harness in place. Again, not too tight. You don't want to pinch any electrical lines. Next up is to insert the four mounting tabs into the race chip. What's really nice about these mounting tabs is it allows you to mount the zip tie horizontally, vertically, as well as remove the four posts if you ever need to remove the race chip by simply pressing on the corners. Next step is to remove the deactivation plug. You don't want to hang on to this, maybe throw it in your glove box. This is what you actually put in place of the race chip if you ever want to revert your car back to stock condition. Now to remove the deactivation plug, we're going to grab the purple side of the FCI plug, simply pull away, remove the deactivation plug, and insert the race chip right in its place and lock it in there. For the 35i, we're actually going to be mounting the race chip right here on the driver's side in front of the wheel well. It's a good spot because it's away from any moisture as well as any of the hot and moving parts of the motor. Going to be using the two longer supplied zip ties to mount the race chip to the post right here.
With the A and B connections securely connected and the race chip mounted in place, next up we're going to grab our keys, press the unlock button once, and make sure that the race chip is getting power. It should light up as soon as you press the unlock switch. Now we've confirmed the race chip is getting power. We're going to then cut the excess ends off the zip ties. And reinstall the engine air cleaner. Next up is reinsert the plastic engine cover just like we removed it. Make sure you get the two fingers in and drop it down in place. And all that's left to do is get out, drive, and enjoy the race chip. Start in the default setting of the race chip for the first time you test drive the car. If everything works great, you can then move the race chip to the next level up. Be aware that the car needs some time to adapt before releasing the full performance upgrade. Now, get out, drive, and enjoy your race chip.